Bonjour à toutes et à tous, bienvenue sur le cours Philippe Chatelier pour suivre la finale dame des internationaux de France 2013. La première joueuse à rentrer sur le cours a remporté quatre titres du Grand Chelem, dont Roland Garros l'année dernière. Elle est la tenante du titre. Elle est russe, Maria Sharapova. First to be introduced out there as last year's champion, Maria Sharapova, with a beautiful bouquet of flowers. They do it with a bit of class here in Paris. Very elegant. Elle sera posée à celle qui a remporté 15 titres du Grand Chelem, dont Roland Garros ici en 2002, l'américaine numéro 1 mondial Serena Williams. And there's Serena Williams being introduced to the crowd and uh, lost in the first round here last year and certainly wants this one. So we begin with the top two in the women's rankings. Maria Sharapova, she's still only 27, defending the title here. She won last year to complete her set of Grand Slams. But a massive challenge on the other side of the court. As I mentioned, it's nine years since Sharapova recorded her last victory against Serena Williams. So let's hear what's on the girls' minds before they go out on court. I feel really good. I've been working hard um, to stay fit and I think really for me when I play a lot of matches I stay uh, more fit because I'm just match tough so I've been playing I've played I think more matches than a lot of people in the past three weeks more most people I think so feeling good to be honest I feel Parisian I mean I'm here so much I literally know the area like it's my backyard I stay in my own place here I don't in a hotel room or anything, so I mean, I feel, I really feel Parisian. Merci beaucoup, c'est ma première fois que je parle français, so je suis nervous aussi. This is one crowd that you really want to be for you and not against you, because they're a really um, intense crowd. Here you are in the final, devastating form. Why this year and why not the last 10? I don't know. I, I, I think I was definitely more determined this year. Uh, I honestly should have been in the finals or at least the semifinals a few more times than two. But I can't dwell on that. I was miserable last year. I was playing so well. And then I lost, you know, you lose one match. It's a learning stone. Everything you have to learn from every experience. And look at me now, you know, I started last year where I didn't do so well and I you know I just keep persevering and keep fighting and, and now I'm here. Patrick has been a great influence uh, we work really well together he teach he says things that I'm used to he says things that my dad says and I think that was one of the things that really um, made me kind of gravitate towards him because I thought that he wasn't going to change my game in any way. I'm not in a position where I want to change my game. I just want to build it and improve on it. An extremely big challenge. She's been the most dominating player, you know, in the, in the last year, winning the most Grand Slams out of all the girls in the last year. and and also in the last month or so winning the most matches out there. But despite all that, despite the record and, and her record against me and in our last meetings, I'm happy to be back at the stage, happy to be getting the opportunity to, to be playing against her. And um, you want to beat the best competitors out there. And I've worked myself into form. I, I don't feel like I started you know, with great tennis. I did what I had to do, but I really had to step up, especially after losing that easy first set against Yankovic. And you know, match by match, I feel like I've been getting better. I'm extremely happy to, to be back at the stage. Obviously, it was such a memorable Roland Garros for me last year to come back as the defending champion. Um, you know, it's really special, and um, of course, it would be um, a dream come true if I could win it again. Du côté de l'entrée sur le cours avec la casquette so sur the, la tête, the, voyez Jones qui est né the, le 19 uh, avril 1987. Back that it's a grand slam. That's what they want. Plus. It's worth a few dollars as well. 
Uh, well, the winner here takes home 2.1 million US dollars, one, one and a half million euros, and the runner-up just over a million dollars. So. Susan Longmont Trophy was created here in 1979, and they're just being introduced here and giving you this bios of both players. There's Arantxa Sanchez Vicario, and Arantxa will be involved in the uh, trophy presentation. She will be presenting the trophy to the winner of the championship this year. Stephens, l'américaine, Yelena Jankovic en quart de finale, et enfin Victoria Azarenka en demi-finale. Elle est numéro 2 mondiale, elle est tenante de titre. They're the two matches, Maria just getting called Sharapova. out for Maria Russie. Sharapova, where she lost sets, she's lost two sets. Serena Williams, just the one. One of those was against Jankovic, and it was six love, hit 20 unforced errors in that match. Encore une minute. In that set, rather. One minute. Son adversaire était le 26 septembre 1981 à Sedinao, dans le Michigan. Il mesure 1m75, professionnel depuis 1995. Classé aujourd'hui à la première place mondiale, classement qu'elle a retrouvé au printemps de cette année. Elle était numéro mondial une première fois en juillet 2002. Puis Sharapova a actually beat Serena Williams ensuite. back in 2004. She beat her twice. Et elle a remporté donc des mars de cette année. Elle a remporté year, 51 tournois dans sa carrière. Elle a remporté she took the GDF title, she's 19. 17 years of age, and then at the year-end championships, beat her again, and since then, it's just Wimbledon. been unable to get close to Serena Williams. They do a nice thing here at the French, they invite the past champions back for four days if they wish to come in for the last weekend, and then uh, a lot of them are in the uh, official tribune over there today and uh, for this particular match, and they'll be there tomorrow also. Probably the oldest gentleman over there is probably Bud Patty, who won it as an American, and now living in uh, Switzerland with his wife Marcina. Some of the other folks over there, Jan Kodesh, Francois Deux, Nolo Santana, Nicole to translate, they played around Sarah my time. Irani, Jim Courier and Ilya Nastasi, they're all here. And uh, Mary Pierce. Williams. And there is Serena Williams, won this in 2002. Straight away, aggressive play. Zero we counts. expected. It's just that Williams has just got the ability to make Sharapova move. When the Russians on the run. It's difficult for her to get a strike on the ball. The difference between here and Miami is the fact that Sharapova came out Miami, the courts are quick. 0.30. She has saved four break points. Second serve, got her on the board, and then the rhythm. An ace and some big first serves. One love, she leads. Oui, bien sûr. who 15 40. has the job to do. She faces two break points now. That one's 
called wide. No. Sharapova makes sure it's called wide. She I'm signals it wide about. as well. So Sharapova strikes first. It's two games to love. Sharapova until this forehand just a little bit short and you can see that Williams is able to get her body weight going forward but hey, she's able to generate Back, it's two games to one, Sharapova. Mademoiselle Sharapova wins par deux jeux à un. Right in the right spot. Good footwork to get right on top of that forehand. It's two all. Drop shot here. It was a, a great first step from the Russian. 40 to 30. Able to drop the racket below the ball, whip it up past Serena Williams. Ball of forwards from Serena. Flick that one cross court. 40-30. Come on! Yeah, there is a now from Williams as she consolidates that. Great and leads it now for the Williams men par quatre jeux à deux. Now from Sharapova. She's had two break points and has converted both of them. Williams has had eight and she's been successful twice. But Quatre jeux partout. Very well done from Sharapova on the break points. For all. Move. Force the error on the backhand. It's aggressive hitting, though. Good hitting from both women in that rally. 15 30. Shot behind the baseline for an outright winner, so it's 5 4 Williams. Mademoiselle Williams, men par 5 jeux à 4. It was an amazing forehand, as you say, Fred. 
She's falling backwards, but still able to pop it, rack it right round the outside of the ball. Sharapova, deep down the middle, gets the shorter Dal ball. Gaza. He's not able to put it away. It's up to it. Back uh, forehand, backhand, sorry, up the line from Sharapova and Williams having to defend once more. Williams had. in that game to lead one love where she was going to go. They're able to get up to that smash because that was a pretty good lob. Sharapova doing a good job here. Just unleashes this forehand. Finish the point off. 15 all. <laughs> Just posted shot again. Unbelievable power. Zero quinze. to 
get hold of the Sharapova serve now, Williams. Two totally different forehands. A return of serves, and then a move to feet. Just totally front on with the ball. Get a good shot. And then this one gets the feet in position. Early in the second set here, leads a set. Again, the serve comes to the rescue. That has been the difference we talked about earlier. Mademoiselle Williams mène par trois jeux à un. serve off balance but then right on top of this one position a for Williams there beautifully struck <laughs> Didn't have time to finish the back swing that one was back past it Williams read it down the top Great control, didn't have to hit it hard, she had to make sure that she had control of it. Count far, Sharapova's pushed out of the court at full stretch there. Sharapova, right idea with the volley, just playing it shorter. You see Williams moving along the baseline. Had the volley have been deeper, she would have been able to get a play on it. Technique on the volley, super. Right out of the textbook. Sharapova's going to check that on the line. Gunnersville. Yeah.
thank you very much when that serve comes in like that. He's trying to take it early, Sharapova. It's difficult to do much, as you say, Fred, with the pace that Williams is sending down. And another one. Williams is the first American through to the final the here since uh, she defeated her sister in the 2002 final. So that's been a dry spell for the Americans. 40 love. Oh, what a yeah. service game. Such good serving from Williams. I mean, Sharapova had no chance. Look at that, 1 minute 16 that game. Too good from Williams. On the count. Her court position continues to take it early. Crowd want more. the deck. This is what Williams is able to do there. Sharapova forced to come underneath the ball. Had to make a decision. Guess one way. Williams goes back behind. K that one. Five down. Picked it up a little 195 that one. Same Ace spot down the oh, team. Case number nine. No double faults. Very clean serving performance. Brilliant. 30-15. Points now for a total turnaround. Lost first round here last bit. year. She's a little bit to know how disappointed she was. And now, see. one point away from winning the title 12 months down the track. Parisian, but 
quite a comprehensive performance. You got a feel for it. Maria Sharapova, she gave it her best effort out there. Never went away, never hesitated, she never ever does. Fabulous round of applause for the title holder of last year. As she mentioned in her speech, she'll be back again. She had a tough opponent today. Congratulations by Arantxa and the President. 